now i am sure everybody once at least in the lifetime might have experienced a person whether on the road or near the colony or in their homes to a person having a fit or a seizure now it's a dreadful condition as pursued by the people and and the, the most of the people the panic whenever they see a patient having a seizure but it's important that do not lose cool and do not panic only then you will be able to pay, help the patient who is having a seizure now what to do if the patient has a seizure right in front of you particularly generalized tonic-clonic seizure the most important thing you should be doing is to make the patient lie flat on the floor try to turn him into one side so that whatever secretions which come out from the mouth uh, can be can easily come out and the patient can breathe uh, properly when he starts to breathe and try to keep a towel cloth or even a jacket folded jacket underneath the head to prevent any injury to the head and there is a common tendency to keep keys inside the hand of the patient that should be not be practiced because it's a, it has been found to be of no use so the most important thing is to remain calm and wait for the seizure to be over uh, once the seizure is over the patient regains consciousness generally within 5 to 10 minutes if you find that a subject is not able to regain consciousness within 5 to 10 minutes after the fit is over or if the patient has a second fit immediately after the first one without regaining the consciousness in between or if the patient is a pregnant woman or a very engaged child then then you should rush him to the hospital immediately so that is the most important thing so please know about these misconceptions try to make the safe procedure for the patient uh, with seizure if, if it happens before you